Welcome back into the world of cross-dressing stories. Now, please consider subscribing and check out my Patreon for more exclusive goodies. In a cramped, dimly lit apartment, Daniel sat amidst a scattering of overdue bills and eviction notices that seemed to multiply each day. The walls, once a hopeful shade of blue, now felt oppressive, closing in on him as he rifled through job listings that led nowhere. The harsh reality of his situation was punctuated by the buzzing of a flickering light bulb, a relentless reminder of his dwindling hope. His phone, old and cracked, vibrated with an unexpected call. The screen lit up with Sarah's name, his ex-wife, a relationship fractured by misunderstanding and unmet expectations, particularly about his affinity for cross-dressing, which she had struggled to accept during their marriage. Hesitant, his thumb hovered over the decline button, but desperation nudged him to answer. Daniel, I've been thinking about you. Sarah's voice came through, clear and somewhat cautious. I know things have been tough for you, and I have a proposal. Daniel's grip on the phone tightened, a mix of skepticism and curiosity silencing the clamor of his anxieties momentarily. I'm listening, he replied, his voice a blend of wariness and intrigue. Sarah paused, choosing her words with care. I need a live-in maid, someone to manage the house. I thought of you, not just because you need the job, but because it might be good for you, too. Her voice was softer now, tinged with an empathy that surprised Daniel. The offer hung in the air, heavy with implications. Sarah's mansion was worlds away from his failing apartment, a place where his secret desires had once found brief expression in the safety of their shared life. The job was an opportunity, surely, but it was also a gateway to the part of himself he had suppressed since their separation. I know about your preferences, Sarah continued, now treading into the more delicate part of her offer. Here, you could be yourself, Daniel, no judgment, just a chance to start over. She was offering acceptance, a concept so foreign to him now in his current desolate situation. The silence that followed was filled with Daniel's racing thoughts. The offer was unexpected, a lifeline thrown in the dark waters of his despair. It was not just a job, it was a chance to reconcile his past with his present, to embrace the parts of himself he had hidden away. Finally, he found his voice. Sarah, I thank you, I'll do it. His words were a whisper, a mix of defeat and relief, acceptance and hope. As he packed the few belongings that mattered into an old suitcase, his heart was a tumult of emotions, fear of the unknown, excitement at the possibilities, and a resurgence of old feelings that he had long thought he had buried. This job was his second chance, not just to stabilize his financial woes, but to rediscover who he was meant to be, in a place where perhaps this time he could truly belong. Daniel's night was restless, the glow from the streetlights casting long shadows across his Spartan room, mirroring the turmoil within. Sarah's offer echoed in his mind, a job that could solve his immediate financial crises, but at the cost of reopening old wounds. The memories of their marriage, the arguments about his cross-dressing, and the eventual painful separation haunted him. Could he really return to a life intertwined with Sarah's, even if just as an employee? His pride recoiled at the thought of being so dependent on her, yet the stark reality of his dwindling bank account left him little choice. As dawn broke, the first rays of sunlight brought a semblance of clarity. Daniel stood by the window, watching the city awaken. The streets buzzed to life below, indifferent to his predicament. He realized that pride was a luxury he could no longer afford, not when it stood between him and survival. With a deep, resigned breath, he made his decision. He needed this job, but more critically, he needed this chance to step back into a world where he could express his true self, even if it was cloaked in the guise of a job. He began to pack, each item a stark reminder of the life he had led so far, unfulfilled and constrained. His clothes, mostly worn and plain, were a sharp contrast to the vibrant dresses and skirts he once cherished and had hidden away in a box marked miscellaneous. As he zipped up his bag, he allowed himself a moment to acknowledge the fear mingling with his resolve. This was not just about financial survival, but about confronting his past with Sarah and the remnants of the person he once was. Stepping into Sarah's home was like walking into another world. The opulence was overwhelming, from the polished marble floors to the grand staircase that spiraled upwards. The air was perfumed with a subtle floral scent. 
a stark departure from the musty air of his apartment. Sarah greeted him at the door, her demeanor professional, yet tinged with a softness he hadn't expected. Welcome, Daniel. Let me show you to your room, she said, leading him through the halls, each step echoing more loudly than the last in his ears. The room she led him to was small but beautifully appointed, with light streaming through lace curtains and a view of the lush garden below. It was more than he had hoped for, a private space in a world so different from his own. As he unpacked his belongings, the fabric of his old life folded away in drawers. Daniel felt a cautious sense of optimism. Here, in this house, under the guise of his role as a maid, he might find the freedom to explore his identity more openly. Sarah's acceptance of his cross-dressing, once a source of conflict, now promised a sanctuary from judgment. This job was his bridge to a new beginning, perhaps one where Daniel could find peace, not just with his circumstances, but with himself. As Daniel settled into his new quarters, the reality of his situation began to sink in. The room, though small, was tastefully decorated with soft, muted colors that instilled a sense of calm. On the dresser, a small vase of fresh flowers added a touch of warmth, symbolizing a new beginning. This space Sarah had ensured felt less like a servant's quarters and more like a sanctuary. Later that afternoon, Sarah knocked gently on his door, carrying a neatly folded uniform and a selection of fine lingerie. The garments were beautifully tailored, far from the stereotypical maid's attire. I thought these might make you feel comfortable, she said, her voice carrying a note of understanding that softened the edges of the past. Daniel's hands trembled slightly as he took the clothes from her, his emotions a tangled web of gratitude, nervousness, and a burgeoning sense of liberation. Sarah left him to change, closing the door quietly behind her. Alone with the fabric that signified his transformation, Daniel faced the mirror, the reflection a stark reminder of the journey he was about to embark on. As he slipped into the lingerie, the soft fabric against his skin awakened a part of him long suppressed, Danielle, his alter ego who had lain dormant amidst life's trials and societal expectations. Each piece of clothing was a layer of armor, shielding him from the judgment he had once feared and enabling him to embrace the persona he had missed dearly. The transformation was not just physical. As Daniel donned the maid's uniform, adjusting the fit and smoothing the apron, he could feel Danielle taking shape, not just in appearance, but in spirit. The vulnerability of the moment was palpable as years of hidden desires and suppressed identity surfaced. Standing there, in his new uniform, Daniel was not just accepting a job, he was reclaiming a part of himself that had been lost in the struggle to conform. When he stepped out of the room, Sarah was waiting. Her eyes met his, and for a moment, there was a silent acknowledgement of the transformation. You look wonderful, Danielle, she said sincerely, using the name he had once adored. It was more than a compliment, it was an affirmation of his identity, a recognition of his journey. Sarah's acceptance marked a turning point. What had started as a financial arrangement was blossoming into an opportunity for genuine personal growth. As Danielle, Daniel found not only the freedom to express his femininity, but also a newfound confidence that began to permeate every aspect of his life at Sarah's home. This acceptance was transformative, turning his role from mere employment to a profound exploration of identity and self-acceptance. As days turned into weeks, Danielle settled into the rhythm of her new life with a grace that surprised even herself. Each morning, she would dress carefully, her uniform becoming a symbol not of servitude, but of the identity she was learning to embrace openly. She performed her duties diligently, appreciating the structure and routine that left her evenings free to explore her newfound expression of femininity. Sarah watched Danielle's transformation with a mix of pride and something akin to relief. It was as if in helping Danielle, she was making amends for the past misunderstandings that had once marred their relationship. Their interactions, initially marked by a professional formality, gradually warmed into a friendly rapport. Sarah's home became a place of safety, where Danielle could explore her identity without the weight of judgment or expectation. One evening, after noticing Danielle experimenting with some basic makeup, Sarah offered to share her expertise. Would you like me to show you a few techniques? She asked, her tone casual but kind. 
Danielle, who had been using old, almost forgotten makeup tricks, welcomed the opportunity with an eager nod. In the privacy of Danielle's room, which had become a sanctuary of sorts, Sarah brought out her collection of high-quality makeup. Let's start with the basics, she suggested, demonstrating how to apply foundation evenly. As Sarah guided Danielle's hand, showing her how to blend the makeup, there was an intimacy to the lesson that felt both nurturing and empowering. Sarah taught her how to highlight her features, which eyeshadows complemented her eye color, and how to contour her face subtly to enhance her feminine features. Each brush stroke was a lesson in self-care and acceptance. Danielle watched her own transformation in the mirror, a mix of awe and joy reflecting back as she began to see the woman she felt inside come to life on the outside. These sessions became their special time, a chance to bond over something profoundly personal. Danielle felt a growing confidence with each new technique she mastered. The makeup was just a part of it. What she was really learning was how to see herself as she truly was, without the shadow of doubt that had clouded her self-perception for so long. This rediscovery of her femininity under Sarah's gentle guidance was healing, turning old wounds into scars that spoke of survival rather than pain. Danielle's gratitude towards Sarah deepened with each passing day transforming their relationship from one of employer and employee to something much more significant. They were allies on Danielle's journey to self-acceptance, each makeup session a step towards the person she was meant to become. As Danielle grew more comfortable in her role and her identity, the outside world began to seep into the sanctuary Sarah had created. Word of Danielle's new job and his transformation into Danielle reached their mutual friends igniting a storm of reactions that rippled through their social circle. Some were supportive, sending messages of encouragement and expressing admiration for her courage. Others, however, let their discomfort and disapproval be known through cold silences or pointed remarks disguised as jokes. The mixed responses were a stark reminder of the world's complexity outside the safe confines of Sarah's home. The gossip and the varied reactions forced Danielle to confront the past she had thought she left behind. Each comment, whether positive or negative, felt like a reflection on her worth and her choices. The emotional turmoil was intense, with old fears of rejection and judgment resurfacing. It was during this tumultuous time that Sarah stepped in, not just as an employer or friend, but as a crucial support system. Seeing Danielle struggle, Sarah introduced her to a local LGBTQ group this connection proved to be a lifeline. At her first meeting, Danielle entered timidly, her nerves frayed by the fear of judgment. However, she was met with smiles, open arms, and stories of struggles that mirrored her own. The group provided a sense of community and understanding that Danielle had long craved. Here, people spoke of their journeys with a candidness that was both heartbreaking and inspiring. Danielle listened, shared her own experiences, and with each story, she felt a little less alone, a little more understood. Encouraged by the group's support, Danielle began to take stronger steps in reconciling her public and private selves. She participated in group activities and volunteer work, gradually finding her voice as an advocate for herself and others facing similar challenges. The group's encouragement and Sarah's unwavering support fueled her transformation from a figure of gossip to one of respect within the community. Through these interactions, Danielle learned to navigate the waters of social acceptance and rejection with a newfound resilience. She realized that her worth was not dictated by the opinions of others, but by her own acceptance of her identity. This realization was liberating. It allowed her to engage with her past and present relationships more confidently, repairing some friendships strained by her transformation and letting go of others that no longer served her well-being. The growth was palpable. Danielle emerged not only stronger, but also more compassionate, understanding the fears and biases that fueled much of the disdain she encountered. With Sarah's help and the support of her new friends, Danielle found the strength to stand tall in her truth, embracing the full spectrum of her journey with grace and dignity. This period of emotional and social challenges, while difficult, was crucial in shaping Danielle into a more complete, content, and resilient individual. As Danielle settled into her new identity with growing confidence, 
A surprising revelation unfolded during a quiet evening at Sarah's home. Over cups of tea in the softly lit living room where Danielle had grown accustomed to feeling safe and understood, Sarah shared a truth that deepened the fabric of their rekindled relationship. Daniel, or rather Danielle, Sarah began, her tone serious yet full of warmth. There was more to my offer than just the need for a maid. I saw how much you struggled, not just with money, but with being true to yourself. I wanted to give you a space where you could be Danielle without fear. Danielle listened, a mix of emotions swirling within her, surprise, gratitude, and a retrospective understanding of the many ways Sarah had facilitated her journey. The job offer, the environment, even the introduction to the makeup and clothes were all deliberately chosen to support her transition in a world that often seemed unforgiving. Sarah continued, revealing another layer to her plan. Seeing you flourish has only confirmed my belief that you are meant for more than just this role. I want to offer you a chance to turn your newfound confidence and skills into a career. She laid out a proposal for Danielle to pursue training in beauty and fashion, wet areas where her passion had always been evident, even in their early years together. She explained that she would fund Danielle's education, helping her obtain certifications in makeup artistry and fashion design. This isn't just about helping you financially, Sarah explained. It's about seeing you thrive in a career that celebrates who you are, that turns your passion into something beautiful and sustaining. Danielle was overwhelmed by the gesture, her eyes moist with a mixture of joy and reflective gratitude. Here was a chance to transform her life, to align her passion with her profession, and to truly step into her identity, not just personally, but publicly and professionally. As the reality of Sarah's support and belief in her sank in, Danielle felt a shift within herself. The offer was more than just a lifeline. It was a validation of her journey and her identity. It was Sarah's way of saying she believed in Danielle's future, one where her identity as a transgender woman was not a hindrance, but a highlight of her professional and personal life. This revelation marked a pivotal moment in Danielle's life, changing her trajectory from one of survival to one of ambition and self-realization. Armed with Sarah's support and the resources to pursue her dreams, Danielle began to envision a future where she could inspire others like herself, using her story and her skills to advocate for acceptance and transformation within the beauty and fashion industries. The plan set in motion a series of events that would see Danielle not only achieving financial independence, but also becoming a beacon of hope and a role model for others grappling with their identities. Sarah's home, once a symbol of her past, had become the launching pad for her future, one filled with promise and endless possibilities. As autumn turned to winter, the changes in Danielle's life reflected the transformation of the landscape around her. What was once barren and cold had become a nurturing ground for new beginnings. Having embraced the opportunity Sarah had crafted for her, Danielle enrolled in a prestigious beauty and fashion school. Each day brought new skills and deeper confidence, not just in her professional abilities, but in her identity as Danielle. The world of color and design which she had once admired from afar was now her playground, and she was quickly becoming a respected voice among her peers and instructors. Back at Sarah's home, their relationship blossomed into a deep and genuine friendship. The pain and misunderstandings of their past marriage gave way to a new understanding built on mutual respect and a shared commitment to supporting each other's growth. They were no longer bound by the roles of husband and wife, but were now allies, each celebrating the other's successes and providing comfort in moments of doubt. As the end of her training approached, Danielle took time to reflect on the journey that had led her to this point. In her own quarters, Surrounded by her designs and makeup palettes, she penned down her thoughts in a journal, a practice she had adopted as a means of processing her transformation. I once thought that to survive I had to hide. Now I thrive in the light of my truth, she wrote. Her words flowed, a testament to her growth, from the shadows of fear to the spotlight of self-acceptance. Danielle acknowledged the complexity of her path, the pain of rejection, the joy of acceptance, and the peace that came with self-love. 
she realized that each step, each challenge, had been necessary to forge her into the woman she was proud to be. Sarah's role in her transformation was monumental, acting not just as a benefactor, but as a catalyst for her rediscovery. Looking ahead, Danielle was filled with a sense of purpose and anticipation. She planned to launch her own brand, one that would cater to all expressions of gender and identity, hoping to use her platform to advocate for acceptance and diversity in the fashion industry. Her vision was clear, a world where no one would have to choose between financial security and being true to themselves. The final lines of her reflection captured her newfound philosophy. In embracing my true self, I have found not just peace, but a mission. To live openly and to inspire others to do the same is the path I choose to walk, paved with the vibrant hues of every life touched by my story. With graduation looming, Danielle looked forward to the launch of her career, grateful for the unexpected journey that had led her here and eager to give back to the community that had supported her. Sarah stood by her side, proud of the woman Danielle had become, and excited for the future they would continue to share as friends and allies. Together they faced the future, a future not just of new beginnings, but of lasting change.